it, people. Man, it's been a long time since I've vlogged. Hello, do you want to come say hello? Hmm? Inspectors? Yeah, say hello. Who did? Ooh, up close and personal. Oh, my little baby boy. Oslo, say hello. Get the keys. Oh, I've got the keys. Uh, I'm going to go now to up there. You can't see where I'm pointing. Up there, uh, hidden among that bush over there, are uh, some mango trees. That's right, mango trees. You probably know what I'm doing. <laughs> you don't? Well, clearly someone's not been watching my videos. I thought this would be a nice opportunity to sit down, have a little chit chat, me and my mangoes and you, of course. A few of you have been asking about my health. So I thought I'd tell you about that. But first, let's go get these mangoes. Oh wait, since I'm going out there into the bushes, let me put my war paint on my face because you just never know who you need to kill in the bush. Why am I doing this? Just, just why? I need to get my stick because, you know, trees are high, especially for someone my height. Um... Where is my trusty stick? Aha! Be careful! Okay, so here's my trusty stick. I don't know where we found the stick from. It was like a broom, but it's like the longest broom you have ever seen in your life. <laughs> Which is what I use to like whack the mangoes off the tree. It's just the best thing that's ever happened to me because I need a broom this long to get to the tops of the tree. Now listen, I see you're getting very excited. You are not coming with me. No, no, no. Because if we see any snakes, they're going to kill you. And I'm not going to be responsible for your death, okay? So don't get too excited. You must just sit here quietly. Speaking of snakes, we do have a problem with snakes. <laughs> It's a big problem, <laughs> uh, especially when these snakes can kill you. Yeah, because they're not just any snakes, they're mambas. They're green mambas and black mambas. Now, especially with the black mamba, you don't really have a chance. And now, with the sun out like this, they love hiding in the shade. Especially under the mango trees where there are like lots of leaves on the ground, they like hide under the leaves, they hide in the branches of the tree. So I have to be really careful about where I knock my stick and where I walk on the ground. Hey, honestly, these snakes though, they're so inconsiderate, hey? Do they not know that I'm trying to get my green mangoes? But you know what? Even if I die, it'll be worth it because green mangoes, chili powder and salt, they're just the most, it's just the most amazing thing in the world. So if I die, it will be worth it. Except I'll be dead, so maybe it's not that worth it. No, I don't know why you're getting so, I'm telling you now, you are not coming. Bye. Okay, we made it to the halfway point. <laughs> of course the wind has picked up, of course. If it's windy and you can hear this wind, I'm sorry. I'm at the, I'm at the tractor shed. This is the tractor shed. This ancient looking building. The mangoes are that way. We actually have more mangoes down there, but those are definitely not ready. There by the tank there. Let's go. I'm still looking for snakes. Tell me if you spot a snake. Hello? Any snakey here? Hello? I'm just, you know, minding my own business. I just want a mango. Please, Mr. Snake. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Look, can you see? Oh, there's a buck. There's a buck. There's a buck. Oh, no. No, it's running away. Oh, oh please come back. Oh. It's gone. Can you see them? Amazing. Why did I even waste my time bringing the stick? I can just pick them right off. Do you see any snakes? Hello? Any snakey here? I'm just here minding my own business. I'm just gonna take this mango. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, bee. Uh. Oh, one more mango. Yeah. Oh, nice. There's my mangoes. Oh, look at those mangoes. Wait, I can hear something. Oh, what a 
fly. Where did I leave my stick? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I think I just swallowed a gnat. Very delicious. We got the mangoes. We did not get bitten by any mambas, so that's a bonus point. Now we head back and we go cut off the mangoes. <laughs> Yo, I'm back. I told you I'd come back just now. You didn't believe me. Hey, Chebby, you take the mangoes. I'm just joking. They're my mangoes. Oh, and look who else came to play, Aussie. Hello, Aussie Bossy. Okay. Oh. Right. So, if you are a little confused about the whole green mango thing and you're wondering why on earth am I cutting a green mango? Also, look how small it is. Yeah, that's because I can't wait until it gets any bigger because if it gets any bigger, it's going to be a ripe mango. The whole point is that I want an unripe mango. This is a very um, popular snack among South African Indians. So basically we eat green mangoes, chili powder and salt together. And let me tell you something. If you've got a mango tree in your garden or if you can get hold of a green mango, try it. Especially if you like sour things. If you don't like sour things, then I do not recommend you try this because then you're definitely not gonna like it and then you're gonna be like i'm never listening to sam ever again so yeah warning please only try this if you like sour things and if you like spicy things because obviously you're eating it with chili powder also do not eat too much of this because this is obviously not good for your health <laughs> I'm like busy recommending a very unhealthy snack this is very sour if you eat too many of these once I ate 12 of them, I'm not even lying. I wish I was exaggerating about this, but once I ate 12 in one go and I was sick, <laughs> obviously. Anyway, so I thought while I'm getting my mangoes ready, uh, I'll update you on my life. I think I'll take this opportunity. Oh, I don't even have to look behind me. I can just look in the viewfinder. Hey, this is a handy camera, man. Not cameraman, this is a handy camera, man. So let's talk about the insomnia. I've become a lot better. Um, I'm sleeping a whole lot more. I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, because yeah, I guess it's just I've, I rested a lot and um, I did get medication. Um, I went to a homeopath. In conjunction with that and all my rest, I have become a lot better. It's, uh, I'm getting just way more sleep than I used to. I mean, like I'm now getting like six or seven hours without any medication. So I've completely stopped taking medication. I stopped about a month or two ago now. And uh, I'm now sleeping by myself for six or seven hours, which is pretty... Like, I can't even put into words how amazing this is Consi like every now and then i'll think about where i was in february of just ju just this year february march april it was such it was the darkest place i've ever been in my life sitting here now in october i'm sleeping i have no pain anymore like i used to have a, a, a pain over here um above my heart wherever that is um and it's completely gone. You would have noticed that my videos have um, definitely decreased from like one a week. I don't do that anymore. I now just post um, whenever I want to, pretty much. I know that sounds quite selfish, but I did it for my own health. Basically, a huge problem, just checking my time on the camera, uh, a huge problem, and I think I said this, in the very first video when I mentioned my insomnia in my father back when I was in Korea he said to me it's your YouTube you need to stop doing that it's doing this to you and I was like Psh, whatever man you're a farmer you don't know anything about YouTube um, but I looking back on it now I think he was absolutely right I think I suffered from a burnout I was juggling two full-time jobs my teaching 
and on top of that i was trying to push out a video every week now to those of you who don't do youtube you won't know but pushing out even one video a week which is what i was doing is like a full-time job because you're basically you have to think of an idea then you have to write the idea down and flesh it out then you have to film it then you have to spend a lot of time editing it then you have to upload it by the time you've uploaded that video you have to immediately start thinking of an idea for the next week because it's already the end of that week so even though i wasn't getting paid for youtube it was like a full-time job now when you're doing teaching in korea in korea teaching doesn't end at like two o'clock which is when school ends in south africa two or three o'clock in korea teaching ends at like five so like when you're doing that job and then on youtube on top of that it's a lot for your brain and it was a lot for my brain and i suffered <laughs> That is a sour mango. Okay, where was I? There were obviously some other factors that were that were contributing to my insomnia, but we will not go into that. I know that I'm very honest with you usually. Hey, that was a flying mango. I know that I'm very honest with you usually, but I'm sure you'll understand that there are at least some things that I can keep to myself. I'm sure you understand. And if you can't understand, well, tough. I think all I needed was time. I was not patient enough with the insomnia thing. I was taking, I was going to the doctor and like I was expecting results overnight, but obviously things are not going to happen overnight. So I just needed time. I needed rest and that's what I did. It's now October. I feel infinitely better. I'm just so proud of myself that I can sleep without medication. <laughs> and uh, I'm no longer scared of nighttime. I'm no longer scared of my bed. Um, I started working on Korea. Um, I am incredibly... <laughs> I can't even use the word excited because that's like an understatement of the century. I missed Korea so much. I was watching BTS. BTS was in the Graham Norton show and I started tearing. Guys, I don't even listen to BTS. I don't even listen to K-pop, but just because they were Korean, I was just like... <laughs> I'm back in the house there was a hornet and it was hovering and I don't like hornets because I was stung by one when I was tiny so I don't want to be anywhere near that hornet so I came back in the house this is the finished product you saw me mixing the salt and the chili powder there are many variations of this some people put vinegar in with this thing you can add lemon juice I've had it with lemon juice before it's amazing I, my mouth is can you hear my mouth it's watering as I'm talking about it now I'm in a new phase of just like plain chili powder and salt let's taste one together this is probably the first ever mango chili powder and salt mukbang welcome to my channel where i set trends yo i'm so sorry if you've subscribed to my channel i'm so sorry but this is the kind of content that you get anyway <laughs> nom, nom. it's like a drug but it's like a legal kind of drug i'm trying to figure out if i finish my update basically i'm currently working towards going back to korea you will obviously be the first to know when i am officially going back to korea but for now i'm in the process yeah i think that's all i have to tell you i hope you enjoyed watching me go and get some mangoes and making my mango chili powder and salt mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. this one was the most amazing so far <coughs> don't forget <laughs> if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you didn't enjoy the video, what even is wrong with you? You know, just go. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. And don't, and don't forget to subscribe 
to my channel and i will see you next time for a new <laughs> video goodbye